Do you ever wish you could have your own Copilot installed on your computer? It may seem like you already have that with tools like Copilot in Windows or access to Copilot in your desktop Microsoft 365 apps. But the reality is that these tools rely on connecting to a cloud-based language model to do anything with AI pretty much. They don't have an AI model on the machine. And so if you disconnect or unplug, all the AI goodness just disappears. Last week, Microsoft announced the release of a new small language model, Phi 3, adding two other options that are already out there. These small language models that Microsoft has been referring to for a while now offer many of the advantages and capabilities of large language models like GPT-4, but are just designed for a less general purpose and at a size and complexity where you can run them locally, perhaps even on devices like phones. So in this video, something a little different. Let's take a look at how to get Phi 3 working on your local computer and some of the things it can do. First though, a quick introduction. My name is Nick DeCourcy. I'm the owner of Bright Ideas Agency, a digital transformation consulting company focused on the needs of smaller businesses. I'm also the author of Who's in the Copilot Seat, a guidebook for small and medium-sized business leaders on how to adopt AI technology. If you're interested in learning more about working with me or getting a copy of my book, there are links below where you can get more information. So the Phi 3 announcement tells us that it's currently readily available in three channels. Azure AI Studio, Hugging Face, and Olama. For this demo, I'm going to use Olama, and this is a tool that allows you to download and run models such as this locally. And like all of my demos, I'm not using anyone's private information here. The demo is set up just for demo purposes. If we head over to olama.com, this is a super simple and easy to navigate website. You can download their tools that let you run models locally for Mac, Linux, and there's a preview Windows client. You can just go straight ahead and get this, no need to register or log in. Once you have that set up, we can head into the model screen. There are lots of models available here, including Llama 3 from Meta, but the one we're focused on for this video is Phi 3. Clicking through to Phi 3, there's information here about the model and its intended use. You should review this, but you're able to use this both for commercial and non-commercial purposes in line with its license. You want to copy the Olama command in the top right. Now, only in a command prompt or PowerShell window, you'll take that command and run it. Olama will download the 2.3 gigabyte model. And while it's doing that, if this video is useful to you, why not give it a like? And if you'd like to see more like this or more of my content about AI generally, consider subscribing to the channel to see more. Once that's downloaded, you'll be ready to go. You can put prompts here as you would for Copilot, so let's start off asking about where I am. You can see that we get a fairly expansive response in the style we're accustomed to from tools like Copilot or ChatGPT. Just remember, as it stands, it's not grounding this request in any live data. This is just dependent on the training of the model itself. Then we could try something different, more creative. How about writing a poem? And again, we get a response not dissimilar to what we could imagine we'd get from Copilot or ChatGPT. Is it a poem that's worth publishing? Probably not, but it is a poem. And how about some math? As you'd expect, it does just fine on that too. Now obviously this is pretty limited testing, but the point here is that the model I'm running through its paces is running 100% on this local computer and isn't dependent on any cloud resources. Beyond just playing around with it like this, this isn't really the intended use case for a model such as this. Just as tools like Copilot are products that are built over the top of a model like GPT-4, these models can be integrated with other uses and built onto too. Imagine you need to build a tool that will benefit from generative AI in a situation where you have no internet or patchy internet. Local AI might be the answer. But there's also plenty of organizations I know that are still a bit wary of their data flying over the internet to someone else's language model. This is even the case for some organizations that are otherwise totally comfortable with storing data in Microsoft 365. This could be an answer too. Or maybe AI on the move, where you want to use AI on a mobile device and you need a small model. And in general, any of the AI usage we can move from the cloud is going to make AI cheaper and more efficient. Using Azure AI Studio, you can layer apps on top of models such as this in the cloud and build your own AI applications. 
Obviously, this is a different way to embrace the potential of AI than most of the focus on this channel, where we consider Copilot and how to extend it. But the key thing to understand is there is no one-size-fits-all approach to AI. Whether you're looking for something to the benefit of your own organization, or you have an idea that you want to productize using AI as part of the foundation, there are options out there that go beyond what I'm generally looking at when it comes to Copilot. Getting the best from Microsoft 365 or from AI tools like Copilot for Microsoft 365 requires gaining new knowledge, getting good advice, and having the right plan. With my company, Bright Ideas Agency, I offer a whole set of options to help you focused on achieving more with technology. Right now, you can sign up for my brand new live training, Get to Know Copilot for Microsoft 365 Extensibility, being run in June and July. And if you book before May 13th, you get an early booking discount. But I also have options for one-on-one -on -one coaching, group training and workshop facilitation, and strategic planning and implementation consulting services. I work with companies around the world who are interested in supercharging the benefits they get from their Microsoft investments. If you're interested in learning more, there are links below for each of these services, or reach out for a chat using the contact form on my website. I'm really interested to personally spend time playing with these tools more. As a low-code focused person rather than a pro-code developer, my default position up until now has been to focus in on where AI has been integrated into Power Platform, either by way of Copilot extensibility, as I showed you in a recent video, or elsewhere. But it seems that every day the potential of using different models increases, as does the tooling to allow those who are not pros in this development space to get started and to start seeing the benefits. Are you interested in this? Should I publish more videos about this exploration? What are you working on in this space? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching through to the end. Until the next video, bye bye.